Look what my mom just texted me. Let's just say, after spending a winter at the Cabinho, we have learned a lot about drainage and where all the water pools. That's why we're making these moves, y'all. It will be worth it. We're calling in backup. <laughs> we're not doing it the two of us anymore till four in the morning because we learned our lesson on cabin season one, let me tell you that much. The best. <laughs> I've never seen anybody get that excited over top so well. <laughs> the best team though, the best team there is. You're all gonna be so happy. Get ready. Guess who you think it is in the comments who's coming over. Spam so comments. Spam the comments. With... <laughs> Don't tell them. Spam the oh, comments, so hashtag who you think it is. Bella, you're trying to find shade, aren't you girl? Oh! Freaking hot. Burnt my ass cheeks. Burnt cheeks? And what's the dog? What we're about to do is an extremely long time coming. One of the first projects we did when we got to the cabin was try and make the front yard feel like a front yard. However, it does pool up in the yard. And this is something we discovered in very heavy rainfall. Massive puddles for our front yard and at the side of our yard and around our boardwalk for weeks. So that's not a good sign. You don't want that. And it took a long time for it to dry up. So let's get it done. Our tractor Clementine makes these chores a breeze. Speaking of breeze, which is practically non-existent, we catch a chill with a refreshing fruit smoothie. And of course, it wouldn't be a summer day at the cabin without a mandatory dip in the lake to battle the scorching heat. I'm being sopping wet. For some reason, Bella loves chasing rocks. Feeling much more refreshed, it's time to remove the boardwalk. Is it even attached? Thought it was, it's not. Perfect, let's move it. Who gets to do it? You. Here goes nothing, let's hope it's not attached. That's definitely not gonna work. Attempt number two. The yard is now cleaned and prepped and I can't wait to give it a makeover. And we're still waiting for that special someone to show up. But there's lots to do on the homestead. So we're gonna move on to the next job. This project has been a long time coming. Something we've wanted to do since we moved to the cabin. And here we are about to begin. It's gonna be a transformation. Behind me is an opening in the forest with a beautiful patch of ferns. But before we get there is piles of rocks, stumps, and logs. It doesn't look like much, but just hold on. If you missed it, we gave the garage a complete makeover. Tools are easy to find. Told you I wouldn't lift anything with my hands anymore. And we're off to the workshop. Let's go. In the exact pathway that we want so thank gosh we have a tractor and a good backhoe operator i do have to say if we had a grappler this would make this 10 times faster we're working with forks a bucket and a backhoe and that's more than we've ever worked with after three years off grid so pretty thankful today where we want to start building to make it not just an outdoor shower, but a place you can have a bubble bath in. We do want to keep this area as natural as possible because there's beautiful ferns growing. So we're gonna do our best to only excavate or backhoe the area that we want. That way nature is growing up beside us. I'm just looking at the tractor in there. We've managed to make a pathway through where we will be building our outdoor oasis to rest, relax, and get clean. Bella, Izzy, and I have retreated to the shade. All of us have found a different square around the cabin because summer's here. She's here and she's hot. Jasmine's pretty damn good in that tractor. Gotta say, I'm still getting used to it. The first little bit inside 
I was getting a little frustrated because I still have excavator mode in my head. I am proud of just giving it a go and getting in there and doing it no matter how much it hurts my brain because it's sick to be able to have this here and make jobs like this even possible because this area is so rocky and so uneven it would be probably nearly impossible to do what we're doing without a machine. Yeah, it would be. Jasmine goes. I feel like a tradie. <laughs> you know how all those like construction workers are always puffing away and working away at the same time. She's got her pop school in her mouth. <laughs> something else, she's really playing the part, but her outfit doesn't seem to match. A lot of loads of fill, sandy fill. Has completed. How's raking? Good. Lies. Are we making a volleyball court or what are we doing here? <laughs> We're a beach. Bella's enjoying it. Well, it's time to rake like the wind and level out the area. I must say, perfect leveling is a hard habit to rake. Does this give a whole new meaning to go pound the sand? I don't know, but hopefully this project gets your stamp of approval. Come on, Izzy. Good girl. This tractor might be the new kid on the rock, but it sure is rocking it out of the park. And with the magic of time gravel, we're done. Even with the tractor, the foundation puts me out of breath. Whew, I can't imagine if I had to lug all this material with a wheelbarrow. Okay, everyone, this okay. is really not sounding good. The tractor is making a little bit of a weird sound and it just doesn't seem happy. Um, I think we need to turn it off, stop driving it, and probably do some maintenance on it, have a look and see what's going on. Also, another realization, it's been a hot minute since we've made a foundation for something. This sand is great, but I think we need some gravel in here because we all know what happens to sand on a beach. Water hits it, this is gonna be an outdoor shower area. It's gonna wash the sand away, so bringing in a little extra material is probably a good idea. So we're gonna come back to this. Oh, and we've got some guests on the way. As we waited for our secret guests, we Can moved our kale plants. <laughs> Cue the voiceover. As we moved our beautiful kale babies. <laughs> As we moved our beautiful kale transplants. Just kidding, Chris was the voiceover girl, not me. <laughs> Are you ready? As we waited for our special guests and our awesome team to get started on the next project, we decided to move our transplant kale babies outside of the greenhouse to the outdoors. Something like that. That's why she does them? And I don't. <laughs> Kale's going outside. Hi! Hi! They all guessed it. And we're hiding in the shade of the tractor right now. Yeah. How do you like the tractor, Porter? Good. I have to grease it, I know. Oh, I just got real grease. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. Yeah. How are you, Ben? You're Good. freaking tanned, man. That's my eye first thing is. What is going on? Have you been outside all day? Yeah. Working? Well, been outside in the everything. machine. Crystal's telling Porter the lowdown. First time Porter seeing the windows. Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool, eh? Yeah. You're gonna let it just go right through. Welcome to the inside outside bar. So there's gonna be where like, I will, gonna be a table. I will serve you whatever you want this week. Yeah. Probably won't be here too much this week. Yeah, uh, why? Supposed to rain? Well no, um crushing. Oh Busy. you just brought the machine, so you got my hopes up for nothing. <laughs> Here I am thinking Porter's starting work tomorrow with us. Well, a little bit, not So That's okay. How much do you I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a lot? This is what we do, we just beg Porter to stay and stay and stay and stay. <laughs> yeah. I like this cabin. <laughs> That's what Porter just said everyone, promise. I'm not making things up. He's just camera shy again this year. Yeah. yeah. Remember, it's been, too long. it's been too long, last year, I feel like the first little bit, you were camera shy, and then by the end, you were telling me to buzz off, and you were making jokes. And Porter was telling you to take shots, remember? Yeah, Porter was telling me how to be a videographer by the end of the year. He's telling me I need to go into the house, and then I need to take shots of his shovel, his bucket from here. We'll get there again, everyone. Porter's just shy right now. I don't blame him. Porter, I'm so excited. <laughs> For I've summer? Been, I've been thinking about this all winter. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Nighttime routine, y'all. We're making a healthy cup of hot cocoa tonight. It's the perfect end to the day. This dream powder is made to help you get the best night's sleep, and it is so delicious. I'm gonna have it hot because it relaxes me. We genuinely look forward to bedtime because we get to enjoy a hot cup. <laughs> Justin's warming up her milk. <laughs> That's delicious. 
It feels like a little nighttime hot chocolate. And if you drink this up, it will help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Before I would toss and turn all night and more recently with my back injury, I was up in the middle of the night. Since taking Beam, I sleep through the entire night. There are six delicious flavors of Dream. The ingredients are natural and they help promote sleep and relaxation. As you can tell, we're already there. <laughs> For example, the magnesium helps your body's muscles relax as well as your nervous system. And it contains melatonin, a compound that our bodies have that help us sleep by regulating our circadian rhythm. To get 35% off your first order and 20% off following orders as well as a frother when you subscribe, click on the link in the description and use code VANWIVES. Oh no, not again. Like seriously? It went and spun a main um, bearing in the bottom end and destroyed the crankshaft. Oh, that's the worst. I gotta go and take the motor out of the truck and then take the crankshaft out of it. Oh my gosh, Porter. I feel so bad for you. That's crazy. <laughs> Do you want help? So, <laughs> well, I'm not doing it till the fall. I'm half dressed. <laughs> Don't even have my overalls on because I just cannot get over the sheer amount of water that's falling from the sky. I've never seen anything like it. It's just been like this for so many days. We haven't been able to capture it all because we've just decided to do other things because it's been so rainy. Izzy hates it. Poor girl's got her ears back. She's listening like no other. She can't relax, can't sleep. It's just raining. Thunderstorms. Do you hear that thunder? It's kind of ironic how much it's raining and it's really showing how bad our lawn is. And yeah. we, were, we were supposed to fix this. Good old spider shake. She's ready. Ready. Go get it, Tiger. My body's ready, my brain doesn't want to go. Look, I know you're all thinking, you're not sugar ladies, get outside, do some building. Cause there's no point even getting started outside because it actually doesn't stop. And when it does, it comes right back and picks up every single time. And the projects we want to do involve us using the tractor and the excavator and leveling areas. And you certainly cannot do that when there is puddles everywhere. We're just walking away <laughs> so we're just gonna move inside golden so fun what a way to start a project does anyone want to do anything else other than sit on their couch while a storm is happening watch the storm You see this mess? That's our closet right now. How do we find clothes? Digging through a bag. Or should I say bags? We need to fix this because every morning it is super frustrating to find any clothes. Do you know where that green skirt is? Over there. No, that's a jumper. Also, the other week, we got our first ever washer and dryer. We, I've never owned a washer and dryer, but like, I. either is Krista. We've never actually even owned a washer and dryer our whole life, obviously, but oh, holy heck. And guess where they're going? In that closet. So what are we doing? A DIY custom closet. What the heck did you yours? This is our current closet setup. I made it. It's been working, but not no longer. We basically have a walk-in closet. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> You'd think we'd remember how tall... 96. Sh girl. Can't remember anyone's can... B-Day, but I can remember the measurements of my walls. <laughs> if you know me, you know I have a really hard time remembering people's birthdays. Our so much so. My anniversary, but I will never forget the height of my walls. All right, you've all guessed it. We're going uniform with the closets as well. Our whole house is uniform, minus our micro cement one ceiling. Love the uniform look, the up and down, the shiplap, the cedar. Oh, just um, looks like not everyone got ready on set yet. Here we are. Frizz, you know? That's what happened was when it rained and you got big hair. 
Okay, check out your hair. You're looking great, girl. I like the frizz, personally, but okay. Let's get cutting! What kind of work shoes are you wearing today? I haven't changed. What's going on? I don't got the steel toes on, I got a little nervous. Oh, there's Colin and his pee jug. Van Life. Van Life. Hi! Everyone, Colin's here. Colin's here. What are we doing? You should know this. Oh. Nails, 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 nails. I'm gonna cut this. Cause this is awkward. Although it doesn't look like summer, you know it's summer because we have all kinds of visitors. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah, Colin and Paige just rolled up in their van from Newfoundland. They are having a blast on the East Coast. Yep, they've been doing it all, hitting all the provinces. And if you don't know who Colin and Paige are, Colin is Crystal's high school friend. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Yeah. And also part of the Van Lives team. Yes. And, and all the vids. And Paige is his partner. Anyway, very, very happy to have familiar faces, to have a van parked up in the parking pad, because that is the goal. Bella's happy she's got her friend. Making friends, getting pats, you know. Anyway. It's been absolute ages since we've had a closet. In the van, we always use these little cupboards. It was working. It was okay. But no, it was. Just don't it even. Was it was bad. No, it was okay. Our clothes were in trash bags. Yes. We had some hanging things, but the some reality is... Standards. I do have low standards. There was zero organization and everything was everyth everywhere and there was bags and there was piles and we will customize this space and make it exactly how we want it so that way everything has a home and you know where everything is. Pinterest Just wait. <laughs> That's the last piece. And guess what? Rain has stopped. Rain has stopped. Perfect opportunity to not have to get materials in the rain ever again. Never. Or go jump in puddles. No, people are. People are getting lots of rain right now. I don't know what's going on. Colin! What? Do you have a drill? Yeah. Can I borrow it? Ours broke. Do you need an impact drill or do you need a... That's what we need. Ours Thank you so broke. much. Don't Here welcome. Thank you. Izzy loves it. You love that. Wait. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Why? We need to bring the laundry machines in. We need to bring it from that room to this room. And you're all probably wondering, why do you need to just get the delivery people to do that? To be honest, we thought we were gonna keep it in that room until we realized how compact it was. Then Crystal gave me the okay to put it in our closet. But she didn't give me the okay before, so. Here we go. This is stupid. This is why they tell you to know where you want it before you do it. We're on a roll! This is what you call a roll. I think you know what the rule is. Look well, how cute they are. We should do what they're doing right now. I know. Let's go have a patio snack and a bevy. Summer's here after all the rain just stopped. What the f It doesn't move! Holy f this is going on 30 minutes now. They we wonder come. why our backs are broken or your back is broken. And that is no longer broken, so I don't know who you're talking about. Are so you, you still doing your stitches? Yeah. Wait, I didn't see you do them today. I didn't see you do them I today. I did stretch up today. <laughs> wow, who are we now? Breathe. Who cares? No, 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 that is so exaggerated. Do you need to take a break and have a Caesar? That's not what you do when you need to puke. Oh my god. Maybe you're tired of moving these washers and dryers. Gotta take a break. They're having a great time. Wow. Just chilling in a van life. Looks so fun, eh? Oh, my hands. Two, three, whoa. Here, okay? Your legs are crushing this. I hope you like it. requires laundry in the closet. You know, people put these in their kitchen now. Yeah. Oh, it's actually if you're in Europe. This is cool. Like, what? really cool. What? Like, this is cool. Yeah, it's sick. You have all this up here space, too. I know, there's a lot of space up there. <laughs> Tons, actually. No. Not again. Good morning. morning. Good morning. When duty calls around here, it's just an average day in the woods. I was just under the house. Jasmine's putting a hole in our tile bathroom floor because we're fixing our toilet because we installed it during a polar vortex. And that means that a couple steps were missed and our toilet is ex not happy right now. It's not burning anything, everyone. We just had the worst <laughs> morning 
ever. It's true. More specifically, Crystal. <laughs> She's the one that took it out. I couldn't fathom. At this point in time, we need to put a hole in our floor so that the toilet can bring have air intake because it ignites and it incinerates. It has an exhaust, but it really needs additional air and the negative airflow in here. It's just, it needs air and it can do what it needs to do and we can do what we need to do in inside the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I've been peeing outside again, everyone. Seven in the morning, people. Look at, look at my outfit. Like what the heck are these? So good morning. Good Welcome morning. back to another day in the woods. Welcome back to the shitty day. <laughs> it's a shitty day. Literally. Literally. We have a two inch hole saw. We are using that times four or five to make a six inch hole. All this just to go to the bathroom. This is our incinerating toilet. What it does is it uses flame in a chamber to burn our poo, our waste, our poo and our pee. You don't believe me? Look at this. No odor, germ free and safe to touch. Ah. Lately, because there is no airflow going into the bathroom, we have been having issues, which was bound to happen. So by putting a hole in the bathroom floor underneath, directly underneath of the toilet, the six inch hole will allow air to come up through the several holes that are in the bottom of the actual shell of the toilet, allowing it to be able to incinerate better, faster, and- or just simply actually incinerate, like Jasmine just said, because we are now having issues with it incinerating, this should be the answer. My whole cell fell through. That means we're through. That means you gotta go under. It means you went on right. This ain't pretty, but it works. Now we have to protect the vent from pesky invaders, which means back under the cabin we go to install a bug screen. Okay, last step now. Depending if I should save you, all of you from looking at this or if I should show you. It's just ash water, by the way, Jess. I know it's just ash water, it's but it's like but because you know it's a toilet, your mind just doesn't want to. There's some stats about how much bacteria is in your butthole, and when I learned that, pretty disturbing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we all know what we're saying. Though. Yeah, this should not be happening. All right, last step. Is it straight? I have to say, I am so relieved that we just did this this morning. I woke up thinking about it, it was stressing me out, it had to be done. Just do the thing. I'm just so excited. Now we gotta do the roof. This reminds me. Yeah, so this is also the issue. If you remember the polar vortex video, we had brutal negative 40 weather in the middle of the winter and crazy storms and we installed the toilet then which saved us from going to the bathroom outside in the winter during the storm. But it also means we rushed the install and we were unable to drill this venting hole leading to this new problem. Gotta take care of that. Gotta get these things done. They cannot take the back burner because it leads to bigger issues. How are you doing? Just putting on a clamp. <laughs> Jazzy's now reattaching the gas line. And we should be back in business. Business. Everyone can do the business. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I have my morning pee in here already. Sounds like it's breathing. It sounds quieter. It's like, it's like a whistle instead of a It actually sounded like it was choking. Mm -hmm. It was choking. It didn't have air. High five. Yes. Who wants to go to the bathroom? Success, we did it. The toilet has air, it's quieter, it sounds smoother. And wow. we will probably never have any other issue with that now, because that's all it needed. It's so simple. It was so simple. It's just a little cold. It was a little cold at the time, but now the but problem is solved. Now I can finally um, brush my hair, have some breakfast. You want to get right to work? <laughs> <laughs> never thought we'd start a morning like that. Mm, we made it here. How do we do all that before coffee? Mm. That's my question. Same sound this morning. It's not fixed. While we have our fuel, we are going to troubleshoot our toilet because our brains can't stop thinking about it. And thank gosh we have video evidence because guess what, everyone? We don't remember what was flashing and what was solid on the LED screen on the toilet. That's why you take video of everything, especially when you're fixing things. I always take pictures and videos so you know you're putting it back together, right? Can you go back Do to that? Do you think that could be the gas supply? It could be because we turned the gas line off so the gas is like coming back in. Does that make sense? Are we yeah. out of propane? No. no, we couldn't be. 
Number one, make sure we're getting gas. Number two, burner system. We'll do that. Open and close the one toilet sure. adequate sure. supply of propane, propane to the toilet. So yeah, so yeah, we have to flush it a couple times to make sure that the propane is back in the line. That makes complete sense. Yeah. All right, now one thing's going right this week. Woo hoo. Motor went to pieces in his truck again. Did you know that? Yeah, and he's still having, he's still having a hard time with the day. That sucks. Why don't we try to let it dry up this week, and then we'll try to get some fill in there next week. Cool. That sounds good. Thanks. I feel so bad for Porter and Larry. Not only the weather isn't cooperating, but everything is seriously breaking over there, from the crusher to Porter's new dump truck, to trying to get his old dump truck on the road, to that engine blowing up while he was on his way to get it safetyed. Just can't catch a break. All right, well, hopefully it won't rain too much this week. Fingers crossed. Okay, good luck with the motor. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. This ain't our class, but we're gonna have all of you pick what design you like better. How? Oh what yeah, because then we're building it right now. So. My design, no one's gonna care. Like, yeah, they are. Okay. Well, like, are we're gonna, gonna find out if they're gonna care. I think they're gonna love it. I mean, if you're here, but this is day three hanging out with us, like, you're hanging out regardless, right? And no, they, but no they, one's gonna get my drawing. Washer and dryer. Yeah. Then we build a standing cubby outside that we bring inside that has a top. Okay. It goes in. But we don't really have to, like, this is where I'm thinking, is we don't really have to make the two boxes. We could just make. The no one's one. making two boxes. You are making two boxes. No, Jess, you didn't listen. <laughs> so let me explain it to you one more time. This is this better, everyone. Jess, can you pay attention? You're so... Oh. Totally. Okay, ready? I understand your design. One, no you don't. One singular box we're gonna put in here and it's gonna be the same Oh, and here. then two shelves. And then two shelves. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner design. I like crystals, I do. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, now let's go learn how to use the truck saw. By 17, by 68. We have someone new to introduce you to today. Everyone, meet Tracky. Fire you wanna tell the them hole. about Tracky? Fire in the hole. Well, Tracky one has a cord, which, I mean, can't complain, but cord. No. That's not gonna happen. The blade is supposed to run along that. Not sure if that's supposed to be cut, though. Back to the drawing board. So you see how it just goes on the track? You literally can't make a uh, like when you use a surf saw. Yeah, you've got to cut the rubber. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, guys, me why? Ask the manufacturer. Yeah, they're cutting the rubber. Yeah. That does not sound good. <laughs> What I had all over my kale. Look at that. That was the most beautiful cut I think I've ever made in my entire life. Track saw is gonna be the only saw going forward. I cannot believe we have just started using it now. Game changer. Table saw, heavy, clunky, hard to use. Track saw, wow we. Talk about wood vibrations. This track saw is crazy cool. She's a thing of beauty. Two pieces down and one to go. We are flying through these cuts. It's definitely going to change the way we do a lot of building projects this year. Cool, eh? Yeah, it's literally just like walking a dog. This window is the best thing we ever did. Look at how cute you are. Okay, now that all of our pieces are cut, we are going to so go do back the same thing on the other side. to using our good old friend, Craig. What's wrong with you? Go lightheaded. Too much tracking, whatever that means. This is the woodworking tool beast, even though we have the very cheap version we bought like how many years ago? I don't know, it works, that's all that matters. Anyways, they make some fancy gadgets now, but we are gonna go back to using Craig. That way we're making pocket holes and you cannot see any of our screws in our beautiful structure. Feel good. All right, everyone, it is looking fabulous. And we are now onto our shelves. Because we didn't use 
cabinetry plywood. We use scrap plywood from our workshop makeover. Our plywood is a little bit of a smiley face. If I was to go back, I would probably use cabinetry plywood, that nice sanded maple on each side, but it's gonna be in a closet. You're hardly gonna see it. However, instead of our shelves sitting on these shelf brackets, we are just going to use screws to screw them in. That way it sucks the cabinet close. Let's hope it fits. Did you measure correctly, Crystal? Moment of truth. This so is the start of our closet. We have much more to come. This is just the bones. But as of right now, it's looking mighty fine. Yeah, just some trim, some paint, and then the clothes go in. Sunshine! The tropical storm Cindy has finally left us alone. We were just about to paint, but- Here's proof. Here's proof. But honestly, the there is bleh, 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 bleh. The sun is out is what she's trying to say. And we're Look gonna it. embrace it. It's been so long. I've been waiting for this moment for honestly ever. It's been hard to keep it going without this beautiful sunshine. So we'll see you Sunday. Ciao back. We love you. Thoughts. Yeah, can you hear that? The rain came back, so we painted it. How do mothers always know? <laughs>